Natalia Gray, you're watching YouTube and this is my channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe, I hope that you enjoy. back to another video so in this video i'm showing you wow bow's new release which is the gold flakes and um, they are incredible you can use them so many different ways in this video i'm just going to show you how to um, apply them and then for the first couple i'm going to show you you just scatter them on and then you can cap that and then use it like a glitter um, but then I rub it in and then I show you how it becomes more or less a chrome effect So these are the six they do come in a pack of six and they are £11.95 on the website You can use my discount against these which will get you 10% off and that's Natalia WB10 So they are incredible. I'm so excited about these um, they come in like three shades of gold um, Like three shades of gold if you like and then two silvers and then a champagne colour As you can see there champagne is in the bottom middle Okay, so we have the gold rose gold and then what I'd think was a nine karat gold. So 24 karat gold, rose gold, nine karat gold. Then we have the holographic effect. Turn that over. Then we have the champagne in gold. And then we have silver. So this is silver, that is amazing for rubbing in. Okay, which one are we going to use first? We'll go for this uh, 24 karat gold one. So, I must have just base coated. We've not seen that. So I've base coated the, the bottom of that. And then now I'm just going to dab it on and show you what it would look like if you just had it on as just a glitter. And then you can have like a get glitter fade, fade it up and it would look unreal. So now I'm going to rub it in and show you what it looks like rubbed in. Look at that, it's unreal. Okay, so we just add some more to the top now just to show you what it would look like as a full nail so I think this is more of a rustic um, chrome rather than the full coverage chrome Now for the second one, I did pick up the wrong um, coat, I picked up top coat, didn't even realise. It does work better with base coat. So uh, there's me putting top coat on. And then I'm going to pick holographic. Look at those big flakes. Okay, so I did start putting it on um, the top coat and then I realized mm, it's top coat, it's not working right. So then I did a base coat. Can you see where I went wrong? So I start, I put on another base coat and then uh, 
just carried on with it. Okay, so we're just dabbing that on and then we're gonna rub it all in. Absolutely stunning. Such a beautiful end result. Okay, now we're gonna use the base coat again. Just to remind you, we're using base coat, not top coat. And when we're putting the base coat on, make sure you are wiping your brush each time before you put it back in the pot otherwise you're going to end up with these little specks and it will just ruin your base coat top coat whatever you're using so do make sure you wipe your brush Ooh, sorry big yawn from me there okay now we're going in with the rose gold one this is my favorite color i love rose gold like a string or something attached to it there okay we're gonna pop the rose gold on you only need a little bit of this i'm using quite a lot just to demonstrate for the video but a little bit goes a long long way i did a live video of this last night and i only used a little bit and it dragged it right down the nail um, but I want sort of like a really full coverage. I'm just over exaggerating with it with you on this video. So I'm using quite a lot. And you see how it just rubs in and blends. Oh, it's just a dream. Such magic stuff that they bring out these days. Okay, so that's them free. Okay, base coat. Put that on. Put base coat on. And we are curing for 60 seconds in between putting the base coat on and then rubbing the chrome one. So we don't leave the base coat um, wet still. We've cured it for 60 seconds and then we come back to it with these gold flags. Flags, flakes. This one seemed to be a little bit more harder to rub in. don't know if it's a different consistency or not but it still looked really nice and like a really vintage um, finish at the end it was a little bit harder to rub in though so if you've got any tweaks of how to rub it in better give me a comment and let me know you just keep going at it and rubbing for longer still a beautiful finish that's a champagne one 
Okay, base coat again. And we're going to go with that nine carat gold one. Again, this one was a different consistency, so it was a little bit harder to rub in than the other ones. But again, it still gave that really nice look. Just dabbing it on that nail and giving it a rub. As you can see it still looks beautiful it doesn't blend in as well as the other colors but it still looks stunning and you can do this on any background color so it will blend in really nice just on top of a tacky gel polish as well okay so the last one we're gonna do this one blended in perfect it was just stunning We're going to go for that silver. Look at them big flakes. I think the bigger the flakes, the easier to blend. on there look at those absolutely stunning and then we're just going to rub them in look how easy that blends straight in such a beautiful mirror shine this one all that excess off and then pop that away and this is the colors that we are left with now we're gonna top coat okay I just turned my extra light on there just so that we can see the shine they just look absolutely stunning Look at that holographic one. And the rose gold. Just absolutely stunning. Again, if you take your time a little bit more with them, you'd get all different looks. I've just done this really quick for you guys for the video. Top coat that last one there. That silver is just stunning. You could almost see my face in it. There we go. Right, guys, I hope that you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up subscribe and hit that bell button for notifications on my next videos 
um hope that you love the video and tune in next time bye